Hi guys, so let's look at this question from CAT 2021 slot 3. Uh, a good question series, a very good question actually. Now this question says that consider a sequence of real numbers x1, x2, x3 such that xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus n minus 1 for all n greater than equal to 1. So if x1 equal to minus 1, then what is the value of x100, okay. Now there is a good way to solve such kind of question actually, okay. So what you can do, do this. If the value of x1 is already given to you, that is minus 1, then try and convert, okay, then try and convert each term, okay, each term in terms of x1. For example, what I'm trying to say here is, if we have, uh, so let's say xn plus 1 is equal to xn uh, it's already it is given at xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus n minus 1 okay now this is already given here so what we can actually do is so or and also it is given that x1 equal to minus 1 okay so what we can do here is so let's start with x2 try to find a pattern and try and convert in terms of x1 okay so what is x2 here so for x2 i for x2 i need to put n equal to 1 so once I put n equal to 1, I'll be getting uh, x2 is equal to x1 plus 1 minus 1. That is x2 is equal to x1 that is equal to minus 1. So what I'm writing x2 is equal to x1. In terms of x1, x2 is equal to x1 I'm getting. Okay, fine. Now if I try to find x3, so how do you get x3? For x3, you need to put n equal to 2 in this main equation here. If I try to put n equal to 2 here, I'll be getting x3 is equal to x2 plus 2 minus 1. Now what is x2 here? x2 is x1 only. So it is it becomes x1 plus 2 x, x1 plus 2 minus 1. Okay. Sorry, x3 equal to x2 plus 2 minus 1. And uh, this is actually x1 only, no? So it is actually x1 plus 2 minus 1. Okay. So x1 plus 2 minus 1 I am getting. So x okay, see the pattern guys. x1 equal to minus 1 x2 equal to x1, x3 equal to x1 plus 2 minus 1. Let's try to find x4. For x4, I'll put n equal to 3 in the main equation. Once I do that, I'll be getting x4 equal to, uh, if I put n3, x3 plus 3 minus 1. Now, what is x3 here, guys? So, x3 is equal to x1. x3 is equal to x1 plus 2 minus 1. And uh, this is 3 minus 1, so plus 3 minus 1. So try to try to find some pattern. So actually in this kind of question, we're just trying to find this pattern here, nothing else. Okay. Now if I try to find x5 similarly, you put n equal to 4, you'll be getting x4 plus 4 minus 1. Now what is x4 here? So x4 is already I can replace all, all with this. Anna. So that basically becomes how much? x1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 3 minus 1 and plus 4 minus 1. Okay. So you'll go, you will go you keep on doing that actually. So what will be getting here? So let's try to find now x100. So what I'll be getting here at x100. So if I put for x100, I need to put n equal to 99 here, no? Okay, in the main equation. So if I put x equal to 100, as if I find, try to find x100, it should be the first term is always x1. So I'll, I'll say, okay, for x100, it should be x99 plus a 99 minus one, that should be equal to x1. First term is always x1. What is second term now? It is 2 minus 1. What is third term now? 3 minus 1. What is next term now? 4 minus 1. This will get carried till where? So I'll be getting till 99 minus 1. Okay. That's what I'll be getting here. So now if I basically uh, try to find x100, that's fairly easy actually now. So what is x100? So x100 is equal to... Uh, the first term here is x1. So let's try to keep x1 here. Now, obviously, it starts from uh, 2, 3, 4 like that. So it starts It starts from 2 to 99. That sum is from 2 to 99. Okay. So that sum is from 2 to 99. 2 to 99. Okay. And obviously, from, uh, from minus 1 will be how many times here? So this 2, then minus 1 will be how many times? So from 1 to 99, the minus 1 is from 99 times. So what you can do? It should be 98 times. So minus sign is 98 times. Okay. So here I can put one common sense actually. Uh, that uh, 
I can just add and subtract minus plus one and minus one here because this two two uh, two two ninety nine that minus one has occurred ninety eight times. Okay, so now what uh, I can do here is this is minus ninety eight correct. So what I can do I can just add and subtract one actually. Okay. So now if you observe here, so if I add subtract if I add one inside if I add one here and if I subtract one outside. So what what will what that will look uh, uh, how that will look like actually that will be like okay x one x hundred is equal to x one plus one plus two plus till ninety nine okay so one plus two plus till ninety nine and outside it will be minus ninety eight minus one is minus ninety nine correct this is the one now this this will get cancelled here. So what I'm getting is x one plus one plus two plus three till ninety eight, and this is how we can solve it, right? So now we have this x one as minus one here. It's already given, and now one to ninety eight. So I know that sum from one to n is how much? So sum from n to one to n is n into n plus one by two. So here the sum will be ninety eight into ninety nine by two. That is equal to forty nine. So forty nine into ninety nine is uh, I think it should be forty nine into ninety nine uh, is equal to four eight five one, and four eight five one minus one will be equal to four eight five zero. So that's the answer for those question. This question, okay, and that's the key to solve such question, guys. So when one value is given, try to convert all into that value. For example, x one was one, x one was minus one given. So I try to write each term in terms of x one, and after that, always try to don't try to solve it. Okay, people solve it minus one. Then they they write one here. They write, uh, for example, they write uh, three here. So don't try to solve it. Okay, try to find some pattern. What is the pattern here? So always pattern. This pattern is very very important in such question. So try to find a pattern. Okay, and try to convert in the form which is already given. so in most of the cases you'll get the answer like this okay thank you let me ask a doubt feature and this is absolutely free for everyone so you can just download the an academy app it is available in the website and app and uh, in this you can crop any uh, you can uh, click any picture you can crop the question part and you can submit and within 4 to 6 hours you get that solutions okay and that is mostly in the video form so we can this is absolutely free for everyone so please use this feature guys uh, you can ask up to three doubts in a go till it is clear and again you can post three doubts okay you can also uh, get solution in english or hindi depending on your preferred language so this is this feature is available in your website and your app it is absolutely free of cost for everyone so just go uh, to an academy you can post any doubt and you get a video solution by our top faculties okay thank you